Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Good morning, and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing the story time. As you guys can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about the time that I got robbed in the plane. This actually happened a month ago. So yeah, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel because it's free. And definitely make sure you follow me on my social media platform, that's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. It will be in the description box down below for your convenience. Make sure you check out the description box down below so you can get the information to my social media. And also, if you are a returning subscriber, you already know it's all love. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, okay? But yeah, first thing first, okay? If you follow me on my social media platforms, you know Bay and I had a vacation about a month ago. We went to Las Vegas. It was great. And also, if you guys haven't watched my vlogs, rude, who's texting me? Hold on. Good. So, if you guys haven't watched my vlogs, my last three vlogs were actually my vlogs of, you know, me and Bay being in Vegas and stuff like that. So, definitely make sure you check that out. It, those are great vlogs and it tells you a lot about Vegas just in case you want to go to Vegas. But, yeah. So, this event happened on my way to Vegas, actually, in the plane, okay? First thing first, Jordan and I were sitting together, but then it was three. You know, you know, the side of the of the plane that have three seats so Jordan was at the window I was in the middle and then there was a guy at the end the very end you know you know the, I think they called the 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 aisle yeah the aisle side of the you know the three seated place so mind you I'm at the middle of Jordan and the guy okay first you know he looked so rich like he looked like he got his stuff together so in my head by the way if you guys are wondering just if you're wondering he was caucasian if you guys are wondering okay so in my head more of the reason why i was like nothing is you know nothing is going on so i really didn't really think much of it because he was caucasian and he looked so wealthy like he looked like he had money you know you know you, when you see somebody you can tell they got money that was how he looked like he got money okay he looked like he has money girl let me tell you boy he looked like he had money anyways we took a flight from BWI to Charlotte Douglas Airport first. And if I want to be exact, this happened November 9th, which was a Saturday. So the night before, you know, the 9th, which was, you know, Friday, November 8th, I made sure I did not get as much, as much sleep as I usually do. So I could be tired throughout the day. So during the plane, I can sleep because we had two flights to catch. After the BWI to Char Charlotte Douglas, airport we had a we had like a i think it was like a two hour layover and then we flew from there to las vegas okay so that was like our transition charlotte douglas airport sorry if you guys are hearing that it's my heater that just went on but anyway so i was like, okay for this one hour let me get a few minutes of sleep mind you i was tired because I, I didn't sleep as much the, the, the night before so i was really really tired so i'm like okay let me just get a couple of minutes of sleep in First, I started falling asleep, right? I'm sitting there, you know, after the, the flight takes off, you know, I'm, I'm making myself comfortable and I'm just laying like this, okay? Like, I'm laying like this. And then Jordan was listening to me. So he wasn't sleeping yet, okay? So me, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm asleep. Bay is not asleep. And then next, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, when the plane moves, like, you'll be waking up, like, just to see how everything is going, then you go back to sleep. You know, so I woke up and then I, you know, I looked around. So this guy is doing him, watching his movie on his phone. But I was so confused as to why not just be comfortable like this. Why like this? Literally. Like this. He's sitting like this on the plane and he's arched all the way down looking at his phone, watching a movie. So I'm like, okay, he's doing him. Jordan is sleeping. I'm about to go back to sleep. So I go back to sleep. And next, you know, I feel my bag moving. Mind you, you know, you have to put your bag, if you're a girl, your handbag in between your legs. If you're a guy, your backpack in between your legs, you know, when you're in the plane. So I feel my bag moving to the side of the guy that was sitting next to me. So I wake up, my dumb self, I fix my bag, right? And I go back to sleep. Red flag number one, I should have woken up. Normally, I should have woken up, and I know I should have woken up and check my stuff and see what's really good or i should have just put my bag where jordan was because he was more secure because it was a bit more further you know away from the guy but then again i didn't think you know anything of it because the guy looks like he had money honey so 
I was like, okay, so that's fine. I fix my bag, I go back to sleep. Next, you know, something, I don't know why, for some reason I just woke up. I find the guy next to me just staring at me like, now he's not bent like this, now he's like turned, staring at me right in my face. Like, I'm like, like, you know, like, this is weird. But anyways, so I looked at Jordan. Jordan is still sleeping. And I look at the, you know, the, the screen on the on the plane and I see that I see that there's like a couple minutes left about like 15 minutes left you know so we're almost there you know and then couple and then I, I stopped like I didn't fall asleep anymore and next you know literally a couple minutes later I think Jordan probably could tell that I wasn't sleeping anymore he woke up too and a couple minutes later we hear you know you know make sure you sit down you put your seatbelt on because the plane is about to land so I'm like okay I'm like literally like getting my bag together on my legs, you know, because I had my jacket because it was hot in the plane. I had my jacket on top of my bag. So I'm making sure my jacket is, you know, put properly and stuff like that. So I'm just sitting there waiting for the plane to land. Something in my head, I promise y'all, something in my head told me, look in your bag. But then I was like, I'll do when I get out of the plane. My dumb self, I should have done it right there and then. But anyway, so I was like, okay, so we landed. And then I just grabbed my bag, right? Because the plane stopped at Charlotte Douglas Airport to drop off some people, and it was supposed to continue somewhere else. So I, when I got out of the plane, the guy literally let us go. You know, it looked like he stayed in the plane. You know, I'm not sure. It looked like he stayed in the plane because he literally, you know, got up, let us go, and then sat back down. So I'm just walking. You know, I get out. I say thank you to the, you know, pilot and everybody else, you know, the staff. I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Bay and I got out of the plane, and then we went to our next gate where we were supposed to take our next flight to Las Vegas. As I'm sitting there, you know, like I said, my jacket is on top of my bag. So, I'm taking my jacket off, I mean, out of my bag. I'm putting it back on, and I'm looking at my bag. I don't see my wallet. I'm like, you know, I know my wallet wasn't so far down because I had just showed it before I came, you know, through security at the airport. So, and I always make sure it's not so far down so I can easily, you know, take out my ID. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, okay, Jordan, <laughs> I think my wallet is not in my bag, but let me keep looking. So I'm searching, I'm searching, I'm searching. I'm taking every single thing out of my bag and I do not see my wallet. I just looked at Jordan and then he's just like, are you sure? Like really look into your stuff. So I'm like, Jordan, everything, I took literally everything out of my bag. Like everything is literally out of my bag. There's no way my wallet is not here. So I'm like, Jordan, please, can you start looking in your stuff? He said, you didn't give me your wallet, but let's do it. So he started searching in his bag too. But of course, you know, I didn't give it to him. So nothing. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like where did I put it? So I started thinking, you know, the last time I saw my wallet, and I was like, right when I passed security. So it should be in my bag. I'm like, I'm sure it should be in my bag. And then Jordan is just like, oh my gosh. So at this point, you know, I'm calling the airline and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I lost my wallet. And they're telling me to go online and file the complaint and do all that online. And then I was just like, okay. I'm just going to block my card. I told Jordan, I was like, okay, I'm just going to block my credit and debit card because obviously the person is going to try to use it. So I want to block my credit card, block my debit card, like points to me because I was smart, which means the person did not touch any money in my account, period. So if you are the thief and you're watching this video, okay, so they didn't take anything out of my account. The only thing that was in my wallet was like about like $10, $15, like barely any money because I was smart enough to put my money that I was supposed to go spend in Vegas somewhere else. I'm clever, okay? I wasn't gonna leave it in my wallet, okay? So I was like, okay, beside my ID, beside my, you know, credit and debit card that I blocked, so you can't really use it anyways. And all those things like, you know, like CVS cards, you know those basic things you have in your wallet? And, you know, I was like, maybe my care credit, um, credit card. Yeah, maybe that's about it because I cannot find my care credit, credit card. So maybe that was in there as well. And something that really pissed me off, and to this day I'm still looking for it. Before, you know, I go to the social security place and get a new card, I think my social security card was in there, guys. That's the only thing that blows me. Like, the only thing that blows me because I can get everything back easily. Like, my card, I got it back, like, right when we came back. And, you know, my driver license, I got it back. The only thing that I will have to go through a process to get is my social security. That's the only thing 
that is pissing me off. That's why I'm like, maybe I should go to my mom's house, you know, and really search her stuff one at a time because I searched this whole place already. I searched our place. It's not here. You know, I'm like, I went to my mom's house. I did like a quick search. I didn't see it. I even told my mom to search for me. She said she didn't see it. So I told Bear that we should probably go to my mom's house one of these days and really like search through all the, you know, documents that she has in her house because she used to keep all of our documents. Obviously, we are her kids. So I was like, wherever she used to keep them, we need to go there and really like search one at a time because if it's not there, that's the only thing blowing me because I have to like, you know, get a new one. Other than that, the guy stole my wallet. So, karma is coming for him because y'all already know I believe in karma. Your girl believes in karma. Karma will come for him and he's not ready. And the... The thing that also pissed me off was the fact that you guys know Vegas, if you go to Vegas, okay, you need to be 21, which means you need an ID. So I did not have my, because, I, because you know, I don't need my passport to go from state to state. So I only had my driver license, which means that I couldn't go to the club. That's why y'all didn't see any club snaps when I was in Vegas. I couldn't really gamble. Because you also need to be 21, which means you need to show an ID. And they wasn't taking, because I, I have a picture of my ID. They weren't taking that. I couldn't really drink. Okay. And I couldn't go to no strip club, because i never been. I really wanted to experience the strip club, my first strip club in Vegas. I couldn't go. So, yeah, that was my experience. But definitely, I'm definitely like, like. I'm definitely thinking of going back just to have that experience. But then my friends that have been to Vegas told me, like, the clubs out there are not really all that. So I don't know if I should believe that or not. But Ben and I was like, we probably should go back, you know, just to have the experience. But, yes, guys, that's the story of when I got robbed in the plane. So it happened, like I said, November 9th, which was a Saturday. It was about a month ago. All right, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this story time. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to follow me on my social media platform. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. It will be in the description box down below. Once again, definitely check out the description box down below because I sometimes add information, you know, <coughs> giveaway going on on my social media. <coughs> I put it down there and I erase it right away. So make sure you yeah, definitely follow me on my social media platforms because I do have private giveaway that I do on my social media platforms and I do not announce on YouTube. So make sure you follow me on those so you can have a chance to win on my giveaways. If you are new to the channel, once again, do not forget to subscribe down below. It is free. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know it's all love. I love you so, so, so much. And thank you for coming back. Happy New Year because New Year is coming up, okay? Period.